This is the story of a round built from the relics of summer. The land of leaf litter. They were once held proudly aloft to the sun, green and glorious. Now, at the onset of autumn, the leaves are relinquished of their nutrients and released from their photosynthetic duties into thin air, worn and weathered. They are destined for a new domain. The fate of the fallen is to become entwined in the nutrient cycle, a process fundamental to all life in the woodland. It's driven largely by those who dwell here in the leaf litter. Detritivores and decomposers who dine on death and decay. Decomposing leaf litter releases nutrients into the soil to be used by the plants and trees. Key, yet invisible to our eye, are fungi and bacteria. Others are more obvious. Slugs like this one eat double their body weight every day. They use their 27,000 teeth to shred through leaves. Over the course of a year, these gastropods are responsible for guzzling a gigantic 8.4% of the woodland's entire leaf litter. There are other tasty treasures falling from the sky at this time of year too, and slugs have an aptitude for detecting sweet substances. but this time, the wasps have beaten them to it. Predators prowl the leaf litter too. Slugs and earthworms are a favoured source of sustenance for slow worms. But visibility is poor. So rather than depend upon eyesight, these legless lizards flick their fork tongues out, collecting chemicals from their surroundings. In this way, slow worms can sense their subjects without even needing to see them. If it's caught, the earthworm stands little chance of escape. Its predator has 28 sharp teeth, curved backwards in its mouth, the perfect shape for snagging wriggling prey. But not today. This one has wormed its way out of danger. As autumn comes to an end, slow worms will hunker down in a form of dormancy known as brumation. They're joined by a host of other hibernators seeking shelter and seclusion. Mm -hmm. 
As the last leaves fall, the trees slip into a winter slumber until spring reawakens the woodland's realm. Lovely to see that slow worm foraging there. They were one of my favourite animals when I was a kid. They lived in my garden. But I was talking about their teeth there, but I've never actually seen any slow worm teeth because when they're moving around, they've always got their lips pursed tightly like that so that when they're pushing through the soil and that leaf litter, they don't get any of it in their mouth, I suppose. But we found this photograph, which does allow us to look at slow worm teeth. Look at that. Little sharp teeth shaped so that they're pointing backwards and grooved, ideally formed for grabbing worms. And I can tell you that because they're reptiles, they practice something called polyphyodonty. Polyphyodonty is where you constantly shed teeth and regrow them. Reptiles do this, dinosaurs used to do it, and of course sharks are famous for doing it too. But you wouldn't want to be a worm caught in those teeth, would you? It's amazing how different they look when you can see the yeah. teeth. I mean, it looks like well something armed, out of Doctor Who, really yeah. well armed. 